Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. There we go, there's my mic. Uh, I want to show you guys abcad.com. This is a great website for beginning computer desktop users. Um, and I like to show my, my pre-K kids, my kindergarten kids, if they've never seen a computer, this is the website I go to to show them how to, how to use uh, the basics, how to use the mouse, maybe the keyboard a little eventually. But the first thing I have them do when they get on this website is scroll all the way down and scroll all the way up. And then I have them press on the letter K here. And I have them scroll all the way, all the way, all the way down. So they get a feel for what that little wheel on the mouse is for and how to use how to use it. So have them do that. And then so there's a lot of games on here like you just saw. You got to know which ones to pick to really make it worthwhile or, or to achieve a certain goal. So if the goal is to achieve mouse manipulation skills, I would definitely go to the one of these games. Make a face, build a house, and make a pizza. These are my top three. There's some other ones here, but these get the job done the best. So I'm going to go to make a face just to show you how it works. So there's squares on the left, and I always find it best to demonstrate the game for the kindergartners or whatever the age group might be if they're just learning how to use this game for the first time. Demonstrate that. I start with the heads because you can actually change the color of the head by just clicking on it, and that is actually very different from when you try to put eyes on there. You can't just click on it. You actually have to click and drag them over. Um, you can add hair and show them. You can click on the, the color squares, the blue square, the purple square, depending on what you want to do. Um, what I'm going to do here is what I've seen some girls do at uh, our school. And they're very creative. So when you go to the noses, they actually chose, decided to make, instead of putting the nose here, they decided to put two noses and put them on the ears so they can act as earrings, right? pretty cute. I thought that was pretty creative when I saw one of the girls doing that. And let's finish it off with a mouth. So uh, these you can print color. Uh, you can print them out. Or And I, what I like to show them is also here's a good place to show them the undo buttons and what those do. And also if you want to start all over, you can click that button. That's one of the games. Another good game that I like to play, Oh, and a quick way to get to the games if you don't find this out right away is you just click on here and it will go actually will all the way scroll down to the purple section and automatically get you there make a pizza is great too this one's really cool because it shows you also the cl the click feature so you get to he hear some sounds as well and it gives you instructions so the kids know what to do the sauce is cool because you actually have to draw this on you click and drag or click and draw the sauce on you get to add some cheese, some pepperoni, if you feel like it. And the cool thing about this is the kids get really creative. They can do whatever they want. And at the end, you just let them know, like, hey, you can cook your pizza. You click yes. And then when it comes out, the fun part is they get to eat the pizza by clicking on it. So this will show them direct influence on the screen they'll see like hey I can click on this and it will start disappearing really cool game as well <laughs> another game we have here let's see the last one I wanted to show you I uh, scroll down here we go build a house kids also get really creative if you could you can kind of see they have the same interface going on here where the, all the tools and all the little things you want to add are on the left and the and then on the right you just go ahead and drag whatever kind of creation whatever you want to make up so these are just like the first three games that I recommend for when you if you start using ABCI and you want to teach uh, your kids mouse manipulation skills and the great part about it is that they're so engaged when they're playing these games and if you've already shown them all three you know, they, each one of them is going to pick their own and they get to create whatever they like. And, oh, what, what I also do while they're playing this game and, you know, having their, doing their little creation, um, I go around and make sure that all the kids are using their index finger to, to click on the mouse because a lot of them will tend to use their thumb. So while they're playing this game, it's great for you to just walk around and make a small corrections to ensure that the kids are using the computer the right way, um, the optimal way. So this is, again, these are the first three games. Build a house, make a face and make a pizza. Um, I have other games that I would like to share with you guys also. There's Tangrams and also Fuzzbugs that are really good games to follow up after these three games. So if you have any comments or anything, please just put them down below. And other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.